I'll let the women start the conversation in online dating, and those were the results. I tried to let the women message first. No messages came. Yeah Rob must be really good looking for 65% of matches to send the first message xd. Yeah these are optimistic statistics. 65% is an absolutely astonishing number. The only way 65% of women are initiating conversations is if he took those stats from Bumble. Tom Cruise could put himself on Tinder and even he isn't getting 65% of women to initiate. Well he's too short for a start. What's with these games? This whole debate over, not just saying hi or hello is ridiculous to me. If you have wild expectations that the person who messages you has to be special or different and not like the other girls and guys, that's probably why you're always disappointed. If someone sent me some one-liner as their first sentence, that doesn't mean they're not going to be a total douche about everything else. Absolutely this. This boggles my mind. How are most conversations initiated in person? Hi. How are you? There shouldn't be anything wrong with starting an online conversation this way. It's so strange to me. When I, F, started dating men online, I initiated most of the conversations with something along the lines of hi there, how's your day slash night slash week been, and guess what? Most responded, and we had full conversations. I even met some of them, now, when I'm looking for women to date. It's a complete different story. I can't get anyone to write back for the life of me, if they do they are not really interested in the conversation, or getting to know each other. I've tried very creative openers, simple ones, tried to talk about things they said they were interested in, things we have in common, nothing, radio silence, idk what to do anymore lol. I've had similar experience, recently, on Bumble, female has to engage. I was sent this gif of some lady from the 80s slash early 90s doing a little shuffle. I replied with this https slash slash i maca gif com slash media slash 313-2016 slash 5k2 psi y gif. Haven't heard back. Yeah. Bumble doesn't really have a user base where I live. But I know some guys that have used it. They all had the experience that basically all their matches that started a convo started with hello, hey, etc, comma, and if their first message wasn't good enough they would get no reply. So effectively Bumble was just the same as Tinder in that respect. Only one more step involved. Yeah it's one of the fun double standards you'll never hear a woman complain about. I think it's more a reflection of how it is offline. It's usually the men who make the first move. This is just how it translates online. I'm a woman and half the time, when I message first, I don't get a response or I get unmatched. Backslash view 200 d edit, if you're here to suggest that maybe I'm just fat and ugly. Check to see if anyone else has mentioned it first. I'm a woman and I say something nice about something in their profile and ask a question. Last week that got me unmatched with no response three times in a row. Ugh. My guy friend said I'm pretty enough to not have any BO or try so hard when talking to guys and all I should say is hi, but I don't know. I'm an overachiever. I like to say something nice and ask a question. That's who I am. I don't want clever conversation slash I never want to work that hard slash I just want someone that I can talk to slash I want you just the way you are, Billy Joel. Too idealistic I suppose. If I like you first, and your liking of me causes the match, you should message first. You are online. If you saw it happen and chose to ignore it, to me that signals disinterest. If the match happens, when I like you, I'll message you. Don't play games. Just talk. Peacock culture. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of games. I'm not even 30, and I'm too old for this shit. Let's just get along like people. Maybe have sex and maybe fall in love. And most importantly foster a friendship from which any of this can evolve. Even just good friendship I live in Miami. So Tinder here is peak Tinder and I'm just tired of the shallowness. Oh man in Miami. That's gotta be. Interesting. As you male. What's the situation like for dating over there? I'd assume you're more likely to get matches than a much smaller city. I hope that people will start to see the sating apps for what they are entertainment. It can be fun to judge the meat. 
but it is a very poor return on your time invested. I bet that, if you'd spend your time on the app swiping people talking to random people in the street you are much better off. Especially for the women. If you are a woman, and you approach a couple of guys, you are guaranteed a date. There are unfortunate exceptions. But generally speaking it works. Unless you happen to approach men, that are already taken off course. No way of knowing that. Funny thing. I, 19F, used to use Tinder as you mention it. Entertainment. I was just judging people for fun and suddenly I ended up dating a girl and we've been together for almost 2 years. Online dating is definitely more related with luck than with anything else. No one said men couldn't feel this way. It's a bit crazy altogether, because it shouldn't be a game, if you actually plan on starting a relationship. TBF a lot of it depends on your BO, and I mean I 100% absolutely no I'm not familiar w yours. I'm not trying to be presumptuous or knock you. Just my experience, so many guys have the absolute worst. Bottom of the barrel profiles. All picks are group picks. Two of your ref truck, and then one super close up that was taken W. What looks like a 2006 Razor. Bias that are either completely blank or W bullshit like. Just ask I'm an open book DK how to do this lala lime a pretty bold and creative person. But I do need something to work W. I'd hazard a guess you're much the same. Opt absolute worst. And this is across both M slash W. Is something to the effect of don't match, if you don't text. And then that person has absolutely zero ability to make conversation lol. I feel like you just listed out my issues with this whole deal. Sept you missed two of my local problems. Picks from below. Really not sure why I need to see up their nose and picks with the fish they caught. But even without going into the pick issue. Just put down something, anything, that you like or dislike, or even feel ambivalent about. What the hell, thank you for lancing this particular old boil, that I didn't know I had. Women aren't looking to impress you, because they have a plethora of options on online dating. When you have multiple people messaging you first, why would you message the ones that don't? This, online dating is simply a numbers game and sadly the odds are against guys. The gays on Grinder are laughing at all of you. Um what else are we supposed to say, you're a stranger. We are not even face to face. If I matched with you, and say hi it's, because I'm interested in at least talking to you, and see if it goes somewhere. Plus I used to initiate conversation a lot back, when I used Tinder and some guys wouldn't even bother talking to me. Which is okay, since it's a dating app and we are strangers. You unmatch them and move on. Honestly, as a bee woman, I felt pretty lucky with people starting convos with me due to my social anxiety. But I've had success with having good convos by talking first too. If the bio has something interesting in it, I always try to message first because hey, I wanna learn more. If the bio is blank or less than 2 sentences, I'm likely not gonna start off because I have no material to start with and I hate starting with hi. This is kinda the risk you run into with online dating though. Some people just really don't dedicate themselves to convo as much as they would face to face, or don't view it as seriously. I'd hate to make it a gender issue, but I can confirm less women message first. I wish I knew why. Because we know a lot of men right swipe on all the profiles without even looking. So matching isn't an expression of interest on the man's part. The message is the expression of interest. Men know the system is that the man messages first so, if he hasn't odds I you're an auto swipe. When I was dating, I had a policy that anyone with nothing in their bio was an instant no. I used Bumble, so I always messaged first with a question, based on their profile. Sometimes people are just truly terrible at conversation. No matter the opener, some people are slow to open up. If it's me asking all the questions with one word answers, and no questions back. Goodbye. Yeah it's not that hard. Either you give me something to work with or I will. If you don't try. Bye. I'm a guy who is definitely average looking, and I never had any trouble. If someone doesn't click with you over text why, would you want to date them anyways? Plenty of women will match with me on Bumble where they have to make the first move and they literally never, ever initiate conversation. What's the deal? Are we so committed to our garbage gender roles that we won't start a conversation with a guy, even when we are using an app that has the expressed purpose of having women initiate? 
Shit's weak. S is wizzeek. The F kind of humble brag is this. Dude says he gets a 65% rate of women initiated conversations and he's upset they didn't put in more effort. Jeez. Are they all bots? Because bots were the only initiators that I'd get. Set up a profile with a pic of a above average looking girl, and see if you would have the energy to respond to all your messages, let alone message anyone first with even a medium level of effort. Did this. Matched with my 30 meters housemate, who had a gorgeous smart GF. Would not recommend. Also the array of creepy dudes is really unpleasant. I have been much happier since giving up online dating. I haven't had a single date. But I have been putting more effort into working on myself. And have better relationships with women in general. Why would a woman message a man first when she already has 100s of men messaging her? This is the problem. Guys being too thirsty causes a lot of problems. As a woman who will messages first all the time can I just say that the exact same thing happens the other way around. A lot of men also don't put in any effort and at least half of them don't reply. Lmao it's only when people stop expecting to be impressed by strangers will we be able to move forward past this kind of bullshit. When you're a woman and put even a nominal effort into your profile, on most dating platforms you instantly become inundated with likes. Matches and messages. I have nothing against people preferring something like hello in favor of a pickup line when hooking up at a bar or something but in the online world, you're just not going to get noticed unless you put in a bit more effort. I don't want clever conversation slash I never want to work that hard slash I just want someone that I can talk to slash I want you just the way you are, Billy Joel. You seem to forget there are way more women with way more options than you. Options doesn't make them any more impressive in communication. Online dating and apps have ruined dating. It's given women an overwhelming amount of options which allows the con artists and manipulators to thrive. Those are the type of guys to come up with something witty or look up lines on the internet. It's way easier to trick people now because you're not face to face. It's made a lot of guys have self esteem because they see all of these beautiful women reject them. Depending on where you live. Most of the beautiful women I've met had been in person. If they saw me on an app they probably would have swiped left. Not because I'm not good looking. Trust me I am. But because I didn't fit their imaginary type of guy. In person once I get to talk to them. Make them laugh. Things change. A lot of those good guys are out there working. And most of the really good girls are not on these apps. I've had these conversations. They go on the app. Get weirded out and quit. I hate that this new age of dating has messed up everyone's self esteem and caused people to live fake lives. Right? This imaginary type of person is ridiculous. People get these checklists that they think it should all fit into it. And as correctly said, the manipulators can really really thrive. They've got loads of chances to say the right things to people and no consequences. I hate that this new age of dating has messed up everyone's self esteem and caused people to live fake lives. I hate this too man. Online in so many areas, not just dating, has and continues to mess people up. Prepubescent girls are thinking they need to lose 20 pounds. The statistics on it are insane. Yeah women love to be about how uncreative men are. But my experience was the same. Usually I just got hey, or how are you, every time when women started the conversations. Of course whenever I started them, I always wrote thoughtful engaging intros which went largely unanswered. I guess when the shoe's on the other foot. People finally see how challenging it can be and are forced to look reality in the face. Can you blame anyone? These dating apps are washed out. They were fun when they were new. But the hookup culture took over and basically people on there aren't really serious or looking for something meaningful majority of the time. It's rinse and repeat. Jump on the app. Even after a while the bias all start to sound the same. Try meeting women elsewhere. Can't blame them for being bored slash boring on the app. They're washed out.